Hi guys, uh, it's Aswa again, and uh, I'm gonna do another review. And this time is gonna be the movie Geo Storm. And uh, let's get into it. This is by Devlin, uh, the, the director, somebody who directed a lot of uh, of uh, disaster movie, disaster genre. Uh, and this movie is about this machine that they put in space uh, and it controls the weather at the same time uh, when hackers bad people get control of it they try to destroy the earth using the same equipment <coughs> satellites so uh, the movie I can't remember most of the actors, you know. I, I can't remember most of the actors. I remember the main star is Jared Butler. He stars as this astronaut about going to this space station. He created this machine and this a bit a satellite that controls the weather. And um, uh, the rest of the actors here are forgettable. I have to say that act the actors in this movie are forgettable except for Jared Butler. He's familiar. Um, I, uh, I find the movie in a way is disturbing a bit disturbing because this guy, the producer, the director, also the Devlin guy, he's famous for disaster movies and uh, this movie has a lot of deaths, you know, because they, they they control the weather and they can freeze people, they can drown people, they can um, shoot lightning at people. And there's a lot of deaths in this movie. And uh, they are all pointless, uh, pointless, and they are all CGI. And I find uh, it's... I find it disturbing, you know, because some of the movie before this, when disaster happens, it's natural disaster. So people die, natural disasters. I mean, it's horrible, but it happens. But in this movie, it's, it's a machine that controls the weather and then suddenly, you know, they, they, they are using it to kill people. But I find all of the scenes are disturbing because it's just... There's no, what do you call that, there's no impact on the death. They just want to show the CGI capability. And to me, that's a bit sickening because, I don't know, maybe I got the right that this movie is sickening. Uh, and like I said, most of the actors are forgettable. Only Gerard Butler makes sense and a lot of CGI. This, a lot of CGI and this guy is really there's no control you know they love CGI but the movie is dumb because it's try to I have this feeling that it tries to be serious super super serious and at the same time they has they have a lot of comedy in here you know, comedy, one-liners and stuff like that, which I, which is, I find it odd. The trailer, the trailer itself has that problem because the trailer start with this guy, I mean, very uh, cowboy kind of feeling and uh, somehow, and then suddenly become serious. So, is it, is it, is it funny or is it serious? Because they really try to do serious stuff you know, in this movie, like the guys want to sacrifice himself, Real Butler want to sacrifice himself and stuff, and it really doesn't doesn't mesh. It's something is a bit weird about this movie. What I, uh, what I think happened, and my friend told me possibility of it. He doesn't have the proof, but I I, I believe what happened is there are two movies. They made a serious movie. And then halfway decided, I mean, maybe after they showed the whole thing, because there was one bit where the guy, the Gerald Butler was all super, super serious and he wants to kill, I mean, he wants to sacrifice his life 
for for to save the world and i think what happened after this they made the movie they do it with the test audience and then the audience realize that they don't want a serious movie so what I, what i think they reshoot the movie and put a lot of comedy stuff uh flaky stuff very weird kind of comedy and it make it that's what that's how you find the trailer and the uh the, i find the trailer and the movie a bit jarring because there's a lot of like hey, is it they're trying to do serious movie or they're trying to do um comedy i you get that vibe i had that vibe watching this movie and i was thinking like this this is something wrong with it um you know but if you just want to watch a harmless flick if you are not disturbed by a lot of cgi deaths and then by all means you just you know it's a very fluff uh, movie uh it tries to take itself too seriously for me and then they try to add a lot of comedy that falls flat and like it's inappropriate comedy like uh people about to die yeah, so, so something they still can make comedy and then uh you know especially at the end the third part of the movie when all hell broke loose and this guy is trapped on the space station and he needs a passcode you know that something that you can you need to make it happen right away and <clears throat> Gerard Butler's brother can actually prolong an unnecessary scene before they give the computer access to this to the to the to Gerard Butler and I, I know you might hear that complicated but if you think about it if this the I this is where I got the idea that the movie was reshot and they changed a lot of it by adding comedy and for me it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't jive it's something wonky and um you can watch it on a rainy day you know on tv wait for it wait for this movie to come on tv and watch it for free you know it's just not worth your money but it's not really that horrible it's just uh fluffy and weird and it's like this sh- there's two movie in this one movie because there's a lot of comedy there's a lot of comedy break comedy bits whereas the world is about to be destroyed and it just doesn't jive for me so my score for this movie uh the geo storm uh is about five out of ten uh just average entertainment that you will forget after you leave the cinema okay guys peace